Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reading Tilly's Reef Adventure. Written and illustrated by Rhonda N. Garwood. Let's begin. On a still night, a mother turtle digs a hole and lays her eggs. She carefully covers them to keep them safe. Then she makes her way back to the sea with the other mother turtles. Eight weeks later, the baby turtles hatch, digging their way out of the sandy nest. The hatchlings scramble to the water. They have to get to safety. Tilly is the first one out. She is worried the crab, that the crabs want to eat them. The seagulls want to snap them up too. They squawk and swoop and pick at the little turtles. And there is more danger ahead. Tilly makes it safely into the ocean. She swims quickly, darting here and there. And an enormous shape looms above her. It is a humpback whale, followed by her calf. The turtles swim down deeper. Look at the colours, says Tilly. Aren't they beautiful, says the seahorse. Hello, my name is Shelley and welcome to the Great Barrier Reef. This is my friend Brian, the fairy basilisk, says Shelley. There are lots of creatures, but there are but lots of creatures live here among the coral. Here comes Vern, the octopus. Be careful, Tilly, Vern warns. Not everything on the reef is friendly. Shelley and Brian introduce Tilly to some of the fish. Tilly can't believe how many different kinds there are. A big lobster walks by, its antennae waving. Will that lobster eat me, Shelley? Let's not wait to find out. The friends swim away quickly, but a large mouthful of teeth opens before them. They swerve to escape and Tilly rushes to the surface for a breath. She sees lots of jellyfish, long and white. Tilly swims over to say hello, but one of them wraps itself around her. It's not a jellyfish, it's a plastic bag. Help, Tilly cries. I'm trapped and I can't swim. She struggles, but the bag only tightens. Tilly is washed up onto the beach. I can't swim, I can't move, thinks Tilly. How will I eat? A goal lands close by. Help! Tilly cries. A group of children moves along the beach towards Tilly, frightening away the gull. Will they find her? Will they toss her in with the rest of the rubbish? The children gently unwind the bag. Tilly is free. They slip her back into the sea. Yippee! Tilly cries. She swims down quickly back to the rainbow-coloured reef. Her friends are waiting to welcome her home. The end. Thank you for listening.